Mm -hmm. So this is um, one of our Foot ID booths. Yeah. So this is where we do the static and the dynamic for any member of the public who wants to come in yeah. and get them fitted out of their own pair yeah. of uh, footwear. Um, so we can get you on the treadmill with one of our test head shoes and just yeah. a little video cut sure. of the eye how you strike the ground, your toe angles where you put your feet outwards, yeah. inwards, neutral, um, and also see the angle of overpronation and stretch the yeah. footwear depending on yeah. that. I have been running a lot in like the gel land drift because okay. I don't have that sort of structure there, but yeah. um, at the moment I'm, I like these ones, I like that, uh, these are juicy. These are the 1000s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. alright, yeah. Because they've just got the 1000s just like a small amount of support. Yeah, um, I don't, because I have them, I have a pretty like built up or yeah. back in there anyway. So you don't so need anything don't, to I don't support. need massive, so that's why I was running in the land drift, because yeah. that just gets neutral and this would provide the support. Yeah, exactly. I think it's because I'm still, like, still getting back from injury, I just need a bit more supportive shoes. Yeah. So this is like perfect, it's like um, perfect sort of support. Put you on for, yeah, it'll be about 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, about 10. That's so cool. Oh, does it go off there as well? Yeah, you'll be able to see it there as well. Which also, I think, makes some people sometimes change their reasons. So. Okay. Left should be okay. <laughs> right one no problems. Uh, okay, so they both look quite neutral. I mean obviously you're landing four foot which is uh, a more efficient way, especially for short distances. But if we take a look, um, uh, first thing we do if I get back to the start. So the first thing we do is we measure your step frequency. So do you know how tall you are? 169. Okay, so we measure six steps, so one, two. Um, and then we can look at your uh, step frequency and step length and see your percentage. So the higher the percentage, the more efficient you're being. Um, for us in the running lab, when we do the full measurement, we look at the step frequency and step length for each speed in the treadmill. Yeah, so yeah. we can see as it increases in speed, yeah. whether, they, whether runners increase their cadence or increase it. So you can see your step length is about a metre when you're running at 10 kilometres per hour. Then the important part of the gate analysis for us in selling the right shoes is here. So first thing we look and we can see that you're a four foot striker on that side. And pointing slightly outwards. Yeah. And then look at this one. Four foot again. Slightly See, outwards. See, I've just had that pronation roll at the end on that one. It kind of lands and then it then it goes a little bit. Yeah. The left's okay and then that one lands and then it just there rolls slightly. Yeah, just a little bit. I yeah. mean, but then this is still really neutral. Yeah. It's just because of probably because of this, the angle that you come down yeah. at. Because if you think about where your body mass is, yeah. it's very under your centre of gravity in here, yeah. like in here, rather yeah. than being in line with your yeah. hip, which is why you get that more spur kind of yeah. uh, angle work. Yeah. Mid stance, so about uh, that. Okay, and then we get this. So what this is picking up is your, let's just see a minute about this, the shoe angle. Um, down here, and then also that angle, um, and then across the calves there, so we can see the leg tilt, the shoe angle, and the heel angle. It's like slightly more of a an angle of heel yeah. strength there. Left is slight overpression, the right is neutral. I mean, and this is just because of the angle on the shoe. Whereas yeah. for me, like looking at the videos, I'd say that they're both fairly neutral, which tends to be the case with people who yeah. toe strike anyway. Um, but from something like that, like for you, I would always say, you know, something like a, a lighter racing shoe for shortest distance yeah. running, it's kind of like a neutral shoe, like you said, cumulus, um, that you have run before, that's kind of a, it's a neutral shoe, but it's still fairly stable, yeah. it's a neutral yeah. shoe, so it's quite nice for people who either overrun it just a small amount, or yes. just want a little bit more support yeah. than perhaps a Nimbus that's super soft. Yeah. Um, but let me just print that for you. But have you tried the Nimbus 15s? Just no, Because no. they like a, the difference between them and the 14s is huge. Like they're yeah. so soft. Like you put them on and they just feel incredible. <laughs> Honestly, they're so nice. People coming in saying they want to be a natural runner. They want to 
yeah, yeah. 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 For them it is a good shoot because it's still got gel cushion yeah, in the heels and they can still feel straight. They're super comfy. I mean, I don't run in them, I just wear them. Yeah, I think so. we tend to get quite a lot of people wearing the 33s. Yeah, the, just for just for walking around, yeah. yeah, especially the gel lights, which is the most natural one. Yeah, um, Joni has like a six mil drop as well. Yeah. People are just wearing those as a like, casual shoe. Yeah, they but they're quite nice as an in between for yeah. gel cushioning. Um, yeah. There's more, so now they're calling the sort of fluid ride, so yeah. it's just a slightly softer ride and transition from heel to toe. Yeah. They've got. <laughs> Yeah, just around here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got quite, quite, like my feet are quite. Oh, right. But they're nice though. Yeah, they're pretty soft. I mean, do you want to have a little jog? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Nimbus, like they're. Women specific in the sense that most of our shoes are a terminal difference between heel and toe. And then for the women's Nimbus and the Keanu stability version, um, it's plus three, so it's 13 mil difference. Okay. And it's just because um, women, due to having higher like estrogen levels and hormone levels at certain times during the month, have got more lax ligaments and tendons. Yeah. So it's just to kind of account for that and help prevent it. You can put it in exactly the same time, that's amazing. So that one, I mean, it looks completely neutral to me anyway. Yeah. Um, to be honest, like I say, like it's probably just because of the yeah, the, yeah. the leg angle there, the leg tilt. The gait analysis booklet that we give to customers who come in and do the yeah. um, the gait analysis, the foot ID here. So it just gives them a little bit more information about um, the information that we print out for them in terms of their foot length, bulger, heel width, width arch height, um, and also a bit of information about the dynamic aspect. So different landing patterns um, yeah. and then that will, what that will mean in terms of what footwear yeah. that we'll advise for them. Cool.